Hello and welcome to Bradley's Space. I'm Bradley and in this late episode, in this video, we're going to take a look at a really dirt cheap projector that I got off Amazon on a Prime limited time deal, whatever they're called, for £55. Now, claims it can do things like 1080p, but I wasn't really that bothered. I wasn't really looking for anything that's like super spectacular. Basically, as I said in the last video, I've moved into a new flat. A bit skint, spent all the money, so I just wanted something cheap and I wanted a big display in my bedroom. So I bought a cheap projector for basically just watching in bed. And we're going to have a little look and see what I think. Um, I've kind of done a bit of an unboxing kind of thing and I'm going to show it in action as well as some of the things like the speakers and the sounds. Um, I'll get into the name in a little bit because the naming systems on these cheap things are really, really bad. Anyway, over to voiceover B-roll kind of Bradley. Okay, so here it is. This is a projector by Elfas. I think that's how it's pronounced. And it's it's a pretty snazzy looking thing. It's an LED mono, uh, uh, projector and it's got 500 lumens or whatever that means. But I think it looks quite snazzy. It's classed as a mini projector. And on the front here, you can see that it comes with a nice little lens cap as well. So this is the front top of the projector and it looks kind of snazzy. It's um, got all your buttons in the bottom corner and you have a focus and a keystone at the top which is really handy. And this is all your I.O. You can use a micro SD card, headset which I which I guess can connect to a speaker as well, AV, couple of USB ports and a VGA and a HDMI. I mean no one's using VGA these days but it's always good if you're taking it on the move to a site where you don't know. Here they are a little bit up closer. Now, I do like the TF card. I always hate how they're called TF cards, though, because it's always really confusing. But, yeah, you can see it's got a pretty decent I.O. for the price. Mostly the headphone sound is the most important, the headphone socket, because you may need that later on, which I'm going to get into slightly later on. I don't know why there's two USBs, but I might have to dig into that one slightly later on because I'm not 100% sure. This is the back. I mean, I think that might be your infrared for the TV remote. Well, the remote that comes with it. It's got a speaker at the back or a fan escape, something like that. And a nice little, like, 12 volt adapter. What else can you ask for? Now, the buttons are pretty useful, to be fair. You've got a power button, OK button, volume, slide to the right, select to the left. And at the top, you've got your focus and your keystone. Keystone, if you don't know, is kind of how straight and how level the picture is. It's one of those things that's really hard to explain. But the focus is really good, and I've managed to get it in focus quite often. These are your cables. HDMI cable. I mean, pretty standard. Again, a pretty standard power cable. Um, and a weird old AV cable that no one is ever going to use. The remote is something I've not had time to test out just yet because it doesn't come with batteries and I've just moved into my flat and I don't have batteries yet. I think it takes double A and it's got all of the things that the all the buttons that the projector does except it has volume controls which might be really useful and I really do need to get batteries so I can control the volume. And also in the box is this. This is a little screw that goes into the bottom of the projector and you can basically use it to like level off the projector. I don't find it that useful, but I'm guessing some people will, depending on how like you want to set up your projector. Now, I kept this in because I really wanted to show how hard and the effort it takes in to get things into focus, and this just wasn't having any of it. But look at it. Look at it, ladies and gentlemen, when it's all in its glory. It's amazing. Uh, I just thought this looked really cool with the light and I wanted to get a sick sick cinematic colour graded shot so there you go and I've even put the little stand in there for you. I think it looks really snazzy and it doesn't look out of place. So this is the sound so I'm just going to let you have a quick listen. What they've done is at the back they've put a little strap so you can put in a belt buckle and you can attach it to your pants or the back of a backpack, anything like that. And it makes it really easy to carry around when you're going out, put it on the back of your back, and you've got a nice little carry around portable speaker. As you can see, it doesn't sound great. 
but, and the fan is really loud, but look at the picture quality. So this is the picture quality that's coming out of the microphone and it's pretty outstanding. I mean, 1080p, I'm doing quotation marks here because I really don't think it is, but you know, it's very watchable for just sitting in bed, watching a movie, like for kids, quick like putting the match on, side of the garage, that kind of thing. It's actually really good. There's one clip in particular that's coming up in a minute that I want to show because it shows off the contrast. This is quite a bright photo, like a quite bright video here. But this shows how dark it can go as well. And I think that's quite important to know. I think it's got really good contrast and I'm actually quite happy with it. Back to the studio, Bradley. Well, that's it. I mean, it's pretty decent for the price. I mean, it's £55 and it's fully watchable. Again, don't believe what it says with 1080p, don't really believe anything like that, but for a cheap projector that doesn't cost much money, gives you a pretty decent image. It's all right for watching TV in bed, pretty much, which is the exact purpose I've got for it. Uh, I am working on the way I've got it set up and that wall that I had isn't perfect, that's not white, that's something I'd like to get a perhaps projector screen, but for now, it's pretty good. I would recommend connecting it to a Bluetooth speaker, I reckon the way for me to do that is to connect the laptop to the speaker and not use HDMI and stuff like that. That's one thing I'm going to get set up soon and I might do a separate video on, but yeah, for £55, it's a winner. That was a prime deal, so I don't know if you can get it, but there's loads of these running about and I thought I'd just kind of show it and the quality speaks for itself, it does a good job. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments. Um, I've been Bradley, thanks.